All right, guys, let's talk about it. Uh, this is the worst bike I've ever ridden. I'm just kidding. That's a nice bike, y'all. Um, if you're considering a, a newer, uh, I guess, naked sports bike, um, definitely look at the MT-10. Uh, it, it's got a lot of things that I've never experienced before. Um, cruise control was was awesome and uh it rides really well very smooth you know i'm used to the buell uh which is actually a really good ride um but this is like comparatively like a cadillac um it's longer wheelbase obviously so the uh cornering is very different it's more this bike would you would enjoy this bike in long sweeping uh turns um Whereas the Buell would be, you know, lots of hairpins. That's where the that's where the Buell's happy. Um, this this bike, you know, cruising at a higher rate of speed and long long bends and um, scenic rides and uh, and some of the twisties like like hairpins and things like that. This could do it absolutely. I can you know I, I didn't do any of that with this. There's no way around here that has those kinds of roads, but um. Anyways, this uh, this is a great bike. So the brakes are fabulous. <laughs> Let me just say, uh, this is a 2020 model, I think, maybe 2019. It's it's within the last couple of years. Um, holy cow! I, I I these brakes are just phenomenal. Just I they were they were literally legitimately two finger brakes. I mean that's all the pressure that was needed. very light pressure to stop the bike rear brake fantastic uh, my brother has a suspension tuned for himself and uh um it was pretty darn close for me too so the ride was really good um it's very quiet i was not used to that in fact two things i wasn't used to the quiet ride um i could hear the uh um, crap, I forget the, the, uh, type of engine this is. It's the, uh, it'll come to me. It's not coming to me. <laughs> I don't remember. I'll put somewhere in here. It'll be, uh, what it actually is. Anyways, uh, um, it was quiet enough that I could hear the chain. And as you know, mules don't have chains, or at least my mule doesn't have a chain. And um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought something had come loose on the bike. So I stopped in the middle of my ride and I'm like, what is that? Oh yeah, it's the chain, I forgot. Um, uh, idiot. You know, when you ride a bike with chain drive, you just get used to that and you just ignore it. Um, I wasn't used to it, so it got me. It got me. Um, yeah, guys, this is a really freaking nice bike, man. I mean, um, it's got the uh, auto shift dealy, if that's what it's called. Crap, I don't remember what it's called now. Um, but, uh, yeah, you don't have to use the clutch. I wasn't used to that, and it was uh, that was kind of fun. Um, the uh, no vibrations that I was feeling. Of course, I'm used to a Buell. And that's all all vibrations. Every vibration you can possibly think of comes out of a Buell. This was smooth. So I'm sure somebody with a more discerning um, nervous system than mine can. Uh, you know, maybe refute what, what I'm saying, but uh, I thought it was a very smooth ride. Um, I know that this is a very popular bike. It was very hard for him to find. He had to go out of state, and this was apparently the only one in three states. Uh, I'll uh, confirm that and maybe put a little thing here. I don't know that that's important. It was just really hard for him to find, and he, he got it. And um, here it is, and I got to ride it. And uh, didn't ride it at the Dragon or uh, Deals Gap, or uh, Deals Gap, Deals Gap is the Dragon, but any of that area. But um, I'm glad I got to ride it here. And uh, yeah, 
Well, anyways, uh, so check out an MT-10 if you're in the market for a new bike. And uh, this has got your interest. Um, it's got my definite thumbs up. So, all right, guys. Uh, until next time, peace out and keep it between the ditches.